Is Spider-Man 3 for the PS3, PC, and 360 really that bad? There's a war going on in my comment section. A while back, I uploaded a video that addresses the question, Is Spider-Man 3 for the PS2 really that bad? I came to the conclusion that, yes. Yes it is. But the discourse in the comment section for that video regarding which is the better version of Spider-Man 3, the PS2 version, or the PS3, 360, and PC version, has been heated. It's time to put this debate to rest as I play Spider-Man 3 on PS3. Because we all know my word is final. Okay, so is Spider-Man 3 for the Xbox 360, PS3, and PC really that bad? Let's find out. Ah uh, yes, so we're beginning with the ever iconic H-Bombers. Uh, I think I was recently just advised by someone in the comment section that these guys do actually appear in the comics for a few issues. Um, I'm surprised they made it into a video game adaptation of the Spider-Man 3 movie. I mean, points for, you know, a deep cut, right? One common criticism I see a lot for this game is that Bruce Campbell is not snippy enough in this opening during this opening tutorial he definitely is doing his his Bruce isms but um everyone gave the PS the PS2 port more credit for having him be just a little a little bit more of a smart ass by comparison he he feels like he's all business here you know, I don't I don't think the combat in this game is bad. I don't know if that's like a big criticism of this game, but I don't know. I, I feel like it's punchy. The, the that meaty thwack. Yeah, like you hear that? That that big old meaty thwack that the uh the punches make when you make impact. It it's satisfying. Yeah, I don't know. Spidey's animations are really, you know, like wacky and, and over the top. They, they don't go to Web of Shadows level of, of wacky, but hey, there you go, Spidey. With all the confidence in the world. Alright, Detective Vision before Arkham did it. So points to Spider-Man 3 for that. Actually, if I, if I recall... Uh, correctly. This game has some nifty uses of the Spidey Sense. Ooh, the Web Rodeo. One of my favorites. Yeah. I can do this all day, man. The Web Rodeo is a required move in every Spider-Man game. And release! Oh, you took that pretty well. Took that like a champ. I love that Toby does the Colossus in this game. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. A sprint button. I'll tell you what. I'm going to be making a lot of comparisons to Web of Shadows. But I am so happy to have a sprint button. That that's I, I didn't mention that in my video. But I feel like Web of Shadows could have used a sprint button. Um, I'm kind of surprised that it doesn't have one actually with how like fast movement based that game is. Every time I would find myself like running across a rooftop, I felt so slow without the, one of those pipes. I bet the water would without a sprint button. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Thank you for getting the door for me, man. Uh, what are you doing? What's going on? You okay? Oh, now you phase out of existence. That's okay. Thank you. For opening the door for me. Ah, here it is. The moment. The moment everyone is here for. The big old meme moment of Spidey face planting. Well, I'm not going to do it. I'm here to save the day and play this game correctly. And okay, I did it. Now subscribe. Press the buttons that appear on Bruce Campbell as the narrator. I never noticed that they actually credited him <laughs> in the opening credits. Woo! 
Ooh. Whoa, look at this fixed camera angle, Resident Evil ass Spider-Man moment we have right here. Imagine, imagine a, a full Spider-Man. Whoa! This isn't bad web swinging. Uh, another aspect of this game that, I mean, again, I don't recall if people uh, criticize it. In the, whoa. That was a PS1 car for a second. Oh, that's nifty. I never noticed that, that you can actually aim where you want to shoot your web line. I always thought the game just kind of did that for you, depending on like what you were closest to. But let's see if it actually, yeah, left, right. Let me try right again, right again. Yeah, okay, so that's kind of cool. You can aim where uh, you shoot your web line. Do, do the games normally do that? Or is that just a Spider-Man 3 thing? That's cool though, that, that, that very functional web swinging. Oh god, this opening tutorials, like the pacing is like, oh, come on, let me get to the game already. All right, I'm finally free to go. Unlock the web zip. Very good. So yeah, I don't know if web swinging is something that was heavily criticized in this game, but I feel like this web swinging is is good. You know, it's not just um, serviceable; like it, it's good. It, it it's very easy to do the whole release at the you know low point of your swing to get speed. Release at the top to gain height. Like, it, I feel like this game does that whole aspect like the most clear cut. Like, it's very easy to gain speed and it's very easy to gain height. Um, not to say that other Spider Man games don't do that, but I feel like this game. Whoa, what's going on? I feel like this game really uh, makes that very easy to do. And, of course, uh, you know, we got the double jump in here, which I, I think, I want to say Spider-Man 2 is the only open world um, Spider-Man game that doesn't do the double jump, which I, I love that game for doing that. I love that it's 100% like, you know, realistic physics based. And, you know, this game kind of departed from that idea by having, oh, so I just unlock swing speed by just doing the thing. Um, yeah, but this game departed from the 100% realistic physics based that actually that web zip is actually very good, too um, I don't know. I guess it's good in terms of Accessibility, but I kind of wish You know every game within the Sam Raimi franchise just stuck with the whole we are you know doing realistic physics no double jumping because, uh, you know, double jumping can be kind of a crutch sometimes. It doesn't ruin the game. Like I said, it makes things accessible. But, you know, I feel like the, the vision of just having it... Holy shit, that guy's dead. How are you still alive, sir? You should be a superhero. Oh, and you got shot too. And you're still alive and kicking. Who... Are you the superhero here? Like, am I? Or is it you? Let's take you to the hospital. Even though you probably won't need it. Yes. Ugh. All right. Again, I, I like the combat in this game. It, it feels punchy. The animations are good. I don't know, man. Am I crazy here? You know what? Actually, if I remember correctly, doing the Mary Jane thrill rides unlock web speed so maybe we should get those uh checked off early let's do that let's talk about the spidey model here for a sec what was the direction with this guy he looks like an alien like with this crazy head shape not at all screen accurate my god you are horrifying i mean stylized choice maybe i don't know I mean, I, I, I find it endearing because he, he's so recognizable as the Spider-Man 3 movie tying game model. But, my god. The proportions are just so weird. Anyway, moving on. Actually, you know, you know, while we're talking about visuals, another thing I want to point out is just how overly bright this game is. Like, I don't know. It, it's a combination 
of the city looking way too bright during the daytime and the buildings just you know just overall a very a very desaturated look for new york city like everything just looks gray and like a, a desaturated brown and like a slightly just different shades of gray even that green over there on that roof just looks like another shade of gray i don't know like if i could change if i could go back in time rewrite history <laughs> uh i think this would be one one of the bigger changes i would make for this game is just this really desaturated bright look that the city has it's like you know assaulting my eyes with how bright it is maybe it maybe it changes during the night time it'll look a, a little better during the night but yeah i admire this for you know just the devs including something just very goofy just literal like you know balloon popping hearts like this is just so cheesy but it's it's like it's fine it's cute what an unfortunate graphic style to go for <laughs> for this time you know like the the realistic route toby's got major like clay face syndrome going on i don't know i mean because other games were obviously able to go for the photorealistic style i guess it was just a combination of budget and a short development cycle aren't you supposed to be in your underwear it's funny because i i always remember the symbiote being uh, introduced very late in the game but i guess i just always chose to do that mary jane thrill ride last in this batch of missions yeah so i guess it looks a little better during the night i don't know is it the bloom is it like a bloom effect that uh, that affects the graphics during the day because i mean it, it does favors for the windows you know during the night time I, I like how the windows you know the light coming off the windows are uh, illuminating the night it looks it looks pretty cool but it, it still has like you know that desaturated look i was talking about before by the way how do you do air tricks you know, I completely missed the first time around that this game has air tricks. I remember thinking, man, where are those awesome, like, fucking cool moves you can do uh, in Spider-Man 2? Like, you can flip around and, like, hold a pose manually and, and control the speed of a little bit. And, yeah, this game totally has air tricks, too. I just, I guess it's not the most intuitive way to pull them off. Because, you know, you gotta tap L2 twice... And then you can do it. But, I mean, they're here, and that's awesome. Ooh, torpedo. We got a torpedo move. We got a classic front flip. And how is this a trick? <laughs> that's barely a trick, Spidey. You're just spreading your arms and legs. What the hell? But okay, sure. Give yourself credit <laughs> where credits do all right so that's awesome it is you know dr connors doesn't look too bad either he resembles the the actor pretty well, well my and, and his face doesn't look like it's melting off its skull what better guinea pig? Stings. stings doesn't it <laughs> i will try my best to drop as many Bully Maguire quotes as I can. It's really weird when JJ goes for those exaggerated expressions because the game is going for a realistic art style, you know, what it can do. And those overly cartoony expressions from JJ kind of clash. All right, let's take a picture of the glizzy cart. You know, this could have... Web of Shadows, by the way, get ready for me to make a lot of comparisons <laughs> to Web of Shadows because, you know, that's the last game I just played. Um, but I feel like Web of Shadows could have used some of these little, you know, fun side activities like low stakes missions of going on everyday bugle assignments. Um, and if I remember correctly, I, I think this game has a lot of these and it just kind of, you know, it helps... To break up the pace of just, you know, doing your 
combat focus missions and doing some, you know, oh, she's got a cool spider jacket. You get points for that. Wait, no, wait, don't go anywhere. There we go. I got a picture of your cool spider jacket. Not too bad. I mean, not as good as I would have done, mind you, but I'll give you a B minus. And no, Come on, Bruce. Better than that, so don't bother retrying this a million what the? Si this city also has Shadow Cat mutants? This mission has a fun buildup of like, you know, getting the reports of a of giant lizards and then seeing it's just a guy in the costume to then eventually, you know, coming across a real lizard. Yeah, see, that's pretty cool. I don't know, just like the way this lizard is in a random alleyway, in a scouring around. Again, fun build up to this mission. Let me take a picture before I scare him away. Got him. That's a cool li uh, lizard minion design. Better get back to searching for those giant lizards. I'm saying you guys are dumb, by the way. Oh God, Toby! Don't deliver. Don't bother delivering quips if you're gonna deliver them that way. Is that piss? This is a, this is a cool use of the Spidey sense. You know, like, it's very basic, just, you know, highlighting footprints, but it's cool that they give you, like, different directions to go. And, you know, you just kind of, you got the slow pace of just walking down the sidewalk as you follow these footprints. I don't know. Where do they go? I guess they end here. All right, so let's try a different trail. And again, you know, just, like, trying out the different trails to see... uh which one leads us to the lizard? I'm gonna guess this one since it, it goes on the side of a building being a little more intricate. So, let's find out. Like, this just feels very, you know, Spider Man ish. Following a trail of footprints using our Spidey sense. Like, it's something I can picture him doing in, you know, one, a comic book issue or one of the animated shows. It's a good integration. Of the spidey sense. Ah, more piss. That's a beautiful shot, if I do nice. say so myself. Be a great shot. <laughs> to run away. Peter thinking about that paycheck more than <laughs> about the issues mutant lizards in the city can cause. <laughs> yeah, let's let's not bother tracking that lizard anymore let's uh let's cash in these photos <laughs> you know and the game just kind of giving you upgrades you know like sprinkled out as you beat missions it is refreshing after playing a bunch of games that are like you know open up a skill tree and like choose your next upgrade i mean i don't know arguably a better way to do it but this is just refreshing and just more basic that it's kind of just appreciated Another uh, very bare. I, I've said this. I've said this in another one of my Spider-Man videos. But Central Park. Ugh, I just spit. Making Central Park look very just barren. It's so easy to do. You know, I've I've yet to come across a game that <laughs> makes Central Park look dense and like an interesting uh, part of the city to explore. You know, most devs just go over like, ah, just make it a big green rectangle and uh, throw some trees in there, a couple of lakes. Oh, that's a pretty good lizard design. Peter's drip is just not there. Ooh, superhero landing. Oh, yeah, I remember this game having a lot of sewer levels. What are the physics in that attack, man? <laughs> like, spider Man's not even launching himself off enemies using his legs or anything. He's just kind of magically ping-ponging between enemies. It's, it's so goofy. I love it. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. He's dead. He's dead. There's nothing I could have done. 
Sorry. Oh shit. You guys resorted to cannibalism pretty fast. You could have just let me swing through this. You don't have to make it a QTE. Cool animations though. Wait, is there like a switch somewhere I can activate that electricity? Spidey sense, do your thing. Maybe I can... I can knock these things over? Yeah! Oh, but I hurt myself. But I... I used my brain. Let's do that again. And now jump! Alright, look at me. Using the old noggin. Alright, are you gonna throw me another QTE or can I do my thing? There we go. I like these little sections where you're swinging down tunnels. And even this little part where you gotta avoid these pipes, little obstacles. That's cool. We don't normally... Ah, oh, I fucked up here. We don't normally get to do this in Spidey games. You know, most of the web swinging is regulated to being outside in the open city where, you know, we're kind of comfortable with. But yeah, slinging through this tunnel, is it's, it's a cool little change of pace. Whoa! That's a big one. All right, let's use my dodge. Get over here. Uh, all that muscle for nothing. Uh, see, a spidey sense comes in pretty handy. I'm trying to figure out where to go, too. Oh! I knew you were there! You didn't get me. You didn't scare me. That would have been a... Oh! <laughs> okay, you got me. Okay, another QT. Again, I could have... I could have just swung through this, man. It's more fun when you just let me swing through it. I like swinging through those little tunnels with the pipes in the way. You know, Spidey, we could have helped these people. We were standing just like a few feet away. But... I guess you felt that it wasn't your place, huh? And... Release! Got him. You know, these random little... Moments of, of like a mini game or I mean not really environmental puzzle, but you know that moment of me swinging two barrels to um, To melt this this wall of grossness like those little fun random moments are appreciated. It, it kind of breaks up uh, This game's pace like it, it keeps things fresh just doing random shit like that. From the diarrhea water, he rises. Whoa! What is this Resident Evil 4-ass shit? Let's get out of here. Who planted these bombs? Oh god, this way. Yep. And now this way. Yep. And now through the top. And down the middle. Down the middle again. And we're safe. I completely forgot about that section in this game. <laughs> that, is, that truly is some Resident Evil 4, like, here's a random section of a giant drill following you. Like, I don't know, like, those random over-the-top moments like that make this game feel really eventful. Like, there's just so much, so many random things that happen that... Keep things interesting. Who says this game is bad? Oh, look at this weird camera angle now. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I gotta do something here. Yep. Oh, okay. Almost got him. Uh, 
Calling really stinks. That missile drop attack is pretty useful. Let me see if I can tornado. Yeah! Oh, that tornado attack is so good. <laughs> QTE incoming. I can feel it in my bones. Let's leave, boys. Here we go. Uh-huh. Yup. Uh-huh. Gotcha. One more. Yep. And finisher. Ooh. Another one? There's got to be one more. Okay, now we're good. Ah, the good old classic Grand Central. Looking barren as all hell. <laughs> well, I guess the place has been evacuated, right? I, I gotta say, like, I do appreciate this game having a lot of uh, indoor uh, levels. Again, it just, I don't know, it, it gives the game just like this constant refreshing feel. Swinging through the subway tunnels. This is cool. See, this is a cool, like, out of the ordinary place to swing through. Yep. Wait. There we go. Shoot it. Okay, next. Over there. Alright. Kind of wish the game didn't, like, have that big red icon uh, on the bombs and just, like, let me use the spidey sense. I think that would have been a little... I don't know, made me feel like I'm figuring things out. Like, I, yeah, I get that the red circle is like a timer. But you could have just put like a literal, you know, timer on the bottom left of the screen. Showing me how much time I have left until the bomb goes off and let me find the bomb with my spidey sense. Oh, I forgot about these little bomb defusal mini games. Oh, old Bioshock. Uh, puzzle. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, let's do the web yo yo. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Oh shit! That's a good uppercut. I don't even know I had that ability. Let's do it again. Wham! Up. Oh. Nothing but air. Oh! Pile driver. Very nice. Uh, again, who says this combat sucks? Maybe I'm just a simple man. I don't know. Uh, let's move this train out of the way. Where's the switch for this? Spidey sense, do your thing. Again, just another simple puzzle to, you know, to just keep things different and you know throwing some some new random thing your way Ugh, I don't know I feel like this game doesn't get enough credit it, I just noticed the game gave me like six whole minutes to, to defuse that bomb I did not need that much time oh oh we're doing the spider-man 2 thing kinda okay uh-huh 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 Let's do it. Come on. Keep shooting the web. I actually really like this little... That little punishment you get for uh, shooting a web line um, in an area where there isn't like a building for your web line to attach to. That little like animation of Spidey uh, flailing around after his web doesn't stick to anything. Yeah. You know, not a severe punishment. You can quickly um, shoot another web line to, to recover, but I don't know. I think it's a good little punishment for not being more uh, aware of your surroundings and making sure there is something for you to shoot your web to. Let's really raise JJ's suspicion and, like, take a picture from this impossible angle. <laughs> Great, there we go. I mean, I guess Peter can always say he was just sticking his head out this window, so... I think we're okay. 
Is that Morgan Freeman? That's got to be based off Morgan Freeman, right? I I'm not the only one seeing this. Look at this guy. This guy is creepy as all hell. Holy shit. That's a lizard person. Pretending to be a human. <laughs> Ooh, dual swing. All right, dual swing. Oh, shit. That's awesome. Woo. Like, I mean, not much use for it, I guess, but I mean, it's cool nonetheless. I can web boost while doing it. Shit. Oh, God. Let's try that again. There we go. Yeah, that's a cool little thing to do. Again, man. People think this game is bad? Why? To give you a window to my 14-year-old mind and how easily blown away I was by next-gen technology, something as simple as this right here. Oh, hold on. I didn't do it there. <laughs> the way... Here we go. Yeah, the way... Spider-Man's body, you know, like, bends to the change of, of angle, you know, between the two surfaces he's sticking to. Like, the way his body is bending over the edge. Like, my mind was blown away by that <laughs> at the time. Because, you know, this is the first time I, I seen something like this. His body realistically uh, responding to the environment as he wall crawls. Where, like, you know, in previous games, if your hand, if your arms were, like, over that edge like that em empty space they would just be floating in the air like you know he would just kind of keep the same wall crawling animation but yeah this this simple thing was incredible to me <laughs> oh shit have there been spider collectibles this whole time i like that it's based off the uh the spider-man one uh yeah the spider that bit him although like at a glance it kind of looks like a like a Spider-Man 2099 spider. Oh god, no! Whoa! Oh shit! <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> I murdered him though. Whoa! Spidey, you don't even have the symbiote yet, and you're being, like, <laughs> such a badass. Get out of here. Okay, I got him. That was close, though. <laughs> Whoa, good one. <laughs> that wasn't bad. All right, Toby has his moments. Yeah, this banging track. This is easily one of the best tracks in, in all of Spidey games. It's so good. <laughs> There's clones everywhere! Oh, jeez, okay. Spidey Sense, do your thing. Oh, God. All right, let's get this person up first. If this be my destiny! Next hole over there. Oh God, watch the fire. We don't want to burn the lady. Ah, and up we go. All right, cool. That was a cool little set piece. I like that. The poor lady's back all bent. The wolf is a baddie. Let's get something straight. You know, for a PS3 model. We're not a team. That guitar just ripping in the background. I love it. <laughs> I better look for another. Do I jump in? That shadow doesn't make sense, but okay. Oh, see, this is cool. Oh, this is a web yo-yo. So, ah, I can't take on my camera. And by the way, oh no! Remember who your friends are. Okay. Rest assured, we will not forget your assistance. All right. Let's do the deal. 
All right, I got a great. Oh shit. Again, another cool little moment of, of trailing a car into an abandoned warehouse, sneaking in through the, the skylight, and sneaking a picture during a, a drug deal or, or whatever that was. A uh, weapons deal, actually, I believe it was. <laughs> um, again, like, this game just keeps its missions varied and, you know, tries to do a new thing every other mission. Like, I'm probably sounding like a broken record at this point, but I don't know. I, I think that goes really far in a game like this. Hey, webhead. In games in general. Warehouse bust. Oh boy, here we go. Zoom in on those super detailed textures. Woo! That's cool. <laughs> the way there's like barely any frames from Toby falling, you know, and grabbing the glider. Whoa! Little spinneru, I like that. I don't want to fight you. Yeah. Then hurry up and die. James Franco just might be worse <laughs> than Toby. Oh god. Oh, you got me good there. Oh, okay. Whoa. All right, finally. All right, so this is cool. We get to swing around in our Peter Parker getup. Now, see, this is kind of cool. I love that the rest of the boss fight is kind of dynamic in the way where I can just, like, pick any rooftop. Like, I can continue this fight anywhere I want, it seems like. Like, I can pick any rooftop that I want. That's kind of cool. Whoa! Like, because, you know, I thought for sure that once I'm done with that whole QTE section of the fight, the game would then, like, fade out into another cutscene and then drop me into, like, you know, a very structured arena um, roof to continue the rest of the fight. But I like that you can just kind of continue to swing around and... The rest of the fight continues wherever you please, really. That's kind of cool. You know, if I stop swinging right now... Your problem with Harry would end very quick, Peter. But let me pick up this teddy bear. Oh, no! Come on! Ooh, scorpion. So I, I kind of like the scorpion design. Although, what really bugs me is that I don't think... This scorpion supports the fact, like, supports being uh, the same scorpion we see in uh, the first Raimi game. Or maybe, maybe you can. Yeah, because they don't really say much about scorpion in the first Raimi game. He just kind of shows up, you fight him. So I guess, yeah, he could be the same guy. This is that he looks totally different, but... That could be easily explained. I like the suit. I don't know about that glass dome, though. It's it's not very scorpion-like. Actually, the more I look at it, this scorpion design kind of sucks. <laughs> like, the armor is kind of generic looking. Again, the glass dome piece just doesn't work for scorpion. And yeah, never mind. That scorpion design sucks. On the other hand, I love this rhino design. I'm not sure if he's supposed to be like a mutant rhino. I think he is, yeah. Cause look at his face. I like, yeah, I like that rhino design. I, I like when they make rhino like a mutant rhino man, like he was in the first Tasm game. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll always love, you know, classic rhino, just, just a guy in a suit kind of thing. But I also think that the mutant rhino direction, oh, oh, it works pretty well. Uh oh, that didn't work. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, no! Oh shit! I did not mean to do that. Oops! Get over here, you! I love doing this. <laughs> I could just if if the whole game was just this, I, I wouldn't be mad. 
Alright, cool. Another indoor section. Fear not. Why is this guy even doing all this again? I kind of lost the plot here. Oh, that guy's dead. Oh, you're not dead. Oh, you want my help? You better not hit me. You're not going to hit me, right? I saved you. You, you mother. Oh, here we go. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, yep. Woo. Uh. Yeah, nailed it. Woohoo. That was a cool sequence. One thing I will say um, about playing this game after Web of Shadows is that while this game's web swinging is not bad, it does feel really slow coming right off of Web of Shadows. Like it doesn't, you don't have that same feeling of momentum that you do in Web of Shadows. Like it feels really hard to build up speed. Oh. Yep. Oh. <laughs> You're a suicide squad now. I think I made the same joke in my uh, Spider-Man 3 PS2 video. <laughs> oh shit. I got you, Jonah. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that was cool. See, that could have been a QTE, but I like that the game um, let me do that manually. Like, that's awesome. That made me feel very superhero-y. Good lord. All those bombs being set off dangerously close to these buildings, but uh, no damage is being done, thankfully. Was that Rit from the movie? Uh, find cover, okay. Is Jonah okay? Oh, that's a lot of missiles! Okay, I did not find cover. Oh, this is overwhelming for the emulation. I mean, totally legit PS3 system. Alright, can I take this guy out stealthily? Maybe I can do a ground pound. Oh, shit! <laughs> He bodied the shit out of me. The wolf, here you go. I owe you for catching those dirty cops. Spidey's cheeks are sculpted. Anything for the mommy. Simping for the wolf was not something I was expecting to do today. A little stealth. Let's come up here. Uh, take up all, all the dirty cops. Okay. So, one. One of nine. Where are the other ones? Spidey sense. Can I do it? Can I cheese it? Nah. Okay. That would have been funny, though. All right. I see you're about to... And two. This is so cool, man. Like, I love these photography missions like they're so simple but they're just so like quintessential spider-man shit you know oh no they didn't see me they didn't see the guy in the bright red and blue costume keep an eye on the wolf but don't get spotted <laughs> no need to hustle the wolf I wish I could perch. I want to crouch. Oh! The wolf! No! Ah! I have to get in there fast. Damn you guys! I completely missed that. But she got shot. I didn't even hear a shotgun blast. Are you wearing body armor, or are you just another superhuman? I don't know about the wolf. You say to all oh, shotgun blast to the chest. Oh my God! No! 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 Yeah, she's got to be wearing body armor or something. 
<laughs> oh, jeez. This is different and okay. Uh, oh, shit. That was so cool. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Dude, this game is awesome. What the hell? What are you guys talking about? This game sucks. The wolf. The wolf. If you ever need to find me. Yeah. I'll just cry wolf. That was cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, I, that random moment of the camera shifting to like, you know, a different camera angle we've never seen before in the game, running along that container and then you know jumping on top of the car like all in game too like like you know at least part of that wasn't a qte like jumping on the car the fact that the game allowed me to do that like I, that's just so cool and again i've been saying this over and over throughout this whole playthrough but those little snippets of like just a weird little thing that's not part of the you know usual moment to moment gameplay just that weird little moment it was cool. It was neat. I don't know. Oh, sick. It's like the, um... It's like the teaser trailer for the first movie. Yeah, it's exactly like it, actually. I wonder if this is meant to be, like, a homage to that. That's pretty cool. Uh... Wait, isn't that the lady that I saved in the beginning of the game? <laughs> I wonder if that's meant to be the same person. Oh, it's just, uh, I think I remember this mission. Yeah, I remember this mission kind of sucking. Oh my god. You don't think a rocket launcher is a little much? Stop it, you. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Ah, shit. Get over here. Ah! Oh, shit. It's low on health, son of a gun. Come on. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Come on. Let's get the other car. No, stop it, you. Oh, that guy has a rocket launcher up there. Don't shoot it. Don't shoot the rocket launcher. Ah, uh, okay, what's gonna... Uh, am I dead? Ah, uh, stop it, car. Get on the car, Spidey. Get on the car and beat him up. Oh, fuck. We can do this. Yep. Beat up that ninja, man. We got this. We got this. That go uh, The armored car. The armored car is on fire. And somehow still kicking. So let's keep it going. Uh, wait, wait. Yep. Oh, fuck. Another car. Come on. This is so unfair. Yep. Get this guy. Get this guy. Quickly, quickly. That guy's done. Next. Ninja car. Alrighty. Get out the car. Don't get run over by it. Okay. Don't worry, guys. I got your back. 
Oh, somebody just shot a rocket. Damn it. Where's the rocket guy? Up here. There you are. Get over here. You bastard with your freaking rocket launcher. Put it away. Oh, more ninjas. No. Is the armor card dead? Okay. Are we good? Oh shit! No! Ah, get over here! And another guy over there! Fuck! Get over here, you! Yep! Alright! Woo! Ooh, cut it close there. Photograph the fight. Let's photograph the fight. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is so random. This is the kind of stuff I love about this game. Just, you know, on a daily bugle assignment, Assigned to a beauty contest, and then a big brawl just breaks out. <laughs> Alright, well I just played uh, Splinter Cells, so I should be pretty good at this. Which way am I supposed to go? Let's use the web yo-yo. I think I'm supposed... yeah, that looks like the way. Don't spot me. Easy. Looks like someone got on pimp my evil face. Okay. All right. Look at us. A sneaky little spider. Huge. I think I made it through without getting seen. Look at me, ever the stealth enthusiast. What the hell is this? Actually, this kind of reminds me of my last fight with Electro. Hey! Things are smarter. Wait, Electro hasn't been in a game. In a Raimi game, has he? Oh, that's kind of cool. He referenced, like... Oh, shit. Can I sneak? Let me sneak. Easy. Let's not get hit. And we're good. Oh, no. No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Has Electro been in like a GBA uh, version of one of the Spider-Man movie games? Maybe, maybe we can tie that comment to uh, one of those games. I'm assuming I can just web these up, right? Yep. And web yo-yo. Wait, I gotta aim this just right. And web yo-yo. Eh, I could do better. And web yo-yo. There we go. And we're dead. Oh, all that for just to get cut off. Whoa. Ooh, I should take pictures. No points for this? I'll just do it for the role play. Cool. Yeah, I, I like this game's focus on like interior levels. Oh shit. More Splinter Cell vibes. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Uh, I see a clear opening. Easy. Wait, did I even have to go this way? Son of a bitch, did I just go through here for no- Oh, I was supposed to interact with that freaking terminal. A scorpion minigame? What? Dude, what the hell? See, this game is just so random. 
a whole dedicated scorpion mini game just to disable lasers like they I'm pretty sure I don't get to play a scorpion again after this and the fact that they went to the length of oh shit that's cool to the length of making scorpion playable for this one small section <laughs> it's like come on dude what the hell again who says this game is bad point them out damn it point them out so is it a scorpion video game or, or are we like controlling scorpion he looks like the bad guy from marvel nemesis that shiny guy Ooh, nice moves whoa oh boy whoa got him Whoa. <laughs> Did they just speed up his running animation to make him run really fast? That's, that was kind of weird. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Woo-hoo! Yeah, say what you will about QTEs. Like, I know everybody likes to dunk on QTEs. Like, you know, they're a very mid to late 2000s thing to do. But I don't know, I, I find them cool. Especially when they're, you know, really well animated sequences like that. Whoa! That's cool, I'm using the webbing the floor to pull myself off his tail, that's so cool. Oh shit, we get to use Scorpion's ass. That's awesome. There's a freaking third person shooting section where you get to use Scorpion's tail. That is awesome, man. Again, this game is just always doing shit. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Why was that glass piece is shaking? <laughs> All right, looks like it's time to finally fight Sandman. I'm about three or four hours into this game, and <laughs> I just realized that Sandman has not made an appearance since the game's opening cutscene. Kind of forgot he was in this game. <laughs> Ooh, the raffle copter, my favorite move in this whole game. <laughs> Way to date yourself, Spider-Man 3. When was the last time you heard Rafflecopter? Oh, Jesus! Oh, that hit hard. Here we go. It's time to pay, Marco! I love the, the very Raimi-esque uh, shot in this scene with with each bolt kind of doing a crash zoom on, on Flint no. Marco's face. Very like Evil Dead. Good riddance. I always forget about this too that I think you're pretty much free to visit Peter's apartment whenever you want as long as you know where it is. It's kind of a fun detail. Again, this game had like a. That's kind of cool. Hearing the sirens just outside our, our, our apartment. Um, great job capturing. You know, really screen accurate. We got the uh, the broken door. They'll get your rent when you fix this damn door. This is kind of weird. Just a sink in the middle of, of everything. Just a sink here. That's kind of awkward. A little mini fridge, a toaster, coffee maker. You know, the essentials. Air. And, uh, yep. This this is this is not accurate. As we all know, Peter just has two uh, sets of clothing. He has a suit, is his you know his his formal wear, and the the, the Spidey costume. So giving him this Treyarch uh, spring jacket, it looks like we got a nice flannel shirt, 
And so that looks like the white shirt he wears in the Spider-Man 2 raindrops keep falling on my head montage. And the mirror here. Um, yep, very uh, screen accurate uh, recreation of the, uh, uh, the shitty apartment <laughs> Peter lives in. Rate my gaming setup, everyone. Honestly, not bad. Like a decent monitor, a nice slim keyboard, even got a printer there. Although I guess he has a Mac, because I don't see uh I don't see the rig anywhere. So I think this is one of those Macs that has just everything built into the monitor. Maybe not the best gaming setup, Peter. I like the detail of Spidey swing animation being uh, more aggressive now that you have the uh the symbiote suit. It's kind of yeah. Even the, the web zip animation i believe is different he's just you know he just has an overall more intense manner of uh moving around so we did just get a craven the hunter intro right after defeating sandman but i like this little like you know tease and and build up to his reveal in this mission with these spears uh pierced into these lizard goons Ah, you see, I love this. A very simple moment of using the web yo-yo to avoid the electrified water and uh, reach this switch. That's such that's such a simple use of this mechanic that has been in other Spidey games but never really utilized to, to complete a task. And I love that this game does this. I also love that you can just quickly just boost yourself while in web yo-yo to just swing around. Um, yeah, I don't know. Th these simple environmental puzzles like are just so cool. Boom. Hit the web yo-yo. I'm a little off target here. I wonder if the game will be generous enough. Nah, I'm way too far. Jump, web yo-yo. And switch. That's so cool. I love that. So I guess Craven, the Craven, the exclusive Craven mission in the first Spider-Man movie game is canon to this game. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's worst lizard design. Still don't like it. Oh, uh, so yeah, we gotta do it uh, Bowser style. Oh man, too close to the wall. And releasing it. Ooh, two for one. Are you kidding me? Now we're gaming. Get this. Oh, off the wall. I, I totally planned that. More? Yep, okay. Alternate. And R2. Woo! <laughs> they get a 10 sometimes. Nah, it'll be fine. Be okay, Doc. I'll get you to the hospital. Gotta get that lab coat to the cleaners, though. Sorry, Doc. You're right. So what do we? Oh, I never noticed. He has like a metal Make plate sure in his head. That's right. kind of cool. And that she never does it to anyone again. Oh, whoa! Slow down, man. <laughs> that effect of just speeding up his running animation is really goofy. Going up. I love doing the web yo-yo for instances like this. <laughs> so handy. This camera angle is kind of cool. Look at that big, beautiful rhino. <laughs> he just froze. <laughs> you, you could have just used the side door. Oh! Never mind, I guess not. Alright, so let's see if I can just do this in a, in a straight shot. Ready? <laughs> yeah! I'm, oh no! I was right there, man. <laughs> I had it. Let's try it again. Yes! <laughs> That's so satisfying. Without even looking. You know what? I probably have to go through like an open vent. Yep. I already saw it. There we go. But oh, web yo yo. Ah, maybe not. Okay. 
Uh huh. Some Mission Impossible action here. Oh, uh, yep, yep. See, this is cool. Another, another little neat gameplay moment of of like going through lasers. And um, this little section right here is actually kind of shows off how precise you can be with your wall crawling in such a tight uh, environment. I don't love the scorp the scorpion armor in this game, but scorpion in like just a tank top and cargo pants with the with the metal uh, tail on his back. It's a pretty cool look. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So the you know this little tight area right here, I just gotta like you know precisely crawl my way through it. It's kind of cool. I wonder if I can just sort of launch myself, but it's kind of some tight tight grid up there, so. Maybe I shouldn't risk it. Easy. Easy. I sure hope I'm going the right way. Did I get turned around and I'm, <laughs> am I heading back? <laughs> sure hope not. Why are these guys dressed like Chris Redfield? You know what? Time to use all reliable. <laughs> the ragdoll physics never fail to get me. Like seeing a guy just get okay, I, I just run away, guys. Just go, just go. You're fine. All right, so this boss fight just kind of starts, like no cutscene to it. Okay, I can dig it. You know what? I probably have to attack him from behind. Dude, Rhino is thick in this game. Good lord. You know, and I, I. I think like all the destruction happening around me is like dynamic physics, I want to say. Like even though the debris quickly um just fades out of existence, it's kind of cool that it collapses, you know, like different every time. At least that's what it seems like. <laughs> He's screaming you. Whoa. It's not that kind of fight, Scorpion. He just got tossed. Yeah, really cool rhino design, I'd say. It's a good blend of, like, just a guy and then, you know, big guy in armor. Is Scorpion dead? Get up, dude. <laughs> big guy in armor um, and, like, mu uh, genetic mutation, it looks like, right? Like, because his face has the texture of, you know, the rhino hide, so... I don't know if it's just all suit or maybe a mix of, of both the genetic take on Rhino and, and uh, armor. Oh, he's raging. Uh, look at me and Rhino. I mean, Scorpion. <laughs> We're ragdoll bros. Up, square. Circle, X, circle. Did I do it? Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was awesome. You're a freak. <laughs> I'll kill you. Stop, Gargan. She's I shouldn't laugh at the man's pain. Let the police deal with her. Go to hell. She's going to pay for what she did to me. Yo, Spidey, chill. Listen to him. Let her go. You're not a <laughs> He was ready to murder him. <laughs> oh god, this cutscene. This just does not work. What's that? I don't know if they did motion capture or if these are like, you know, handmade animations. I just want him out of the way for a bit. That's all. But I want to say it's motion capture because, like, they, they look like they're trying to move, like, all casual, like, real people. Ah, but it just looks so awkward. And it's made even worse when they bring in this Venom model. You know, like, all this casual movement. Look, I'm just a guy. And he's, like, this hulking monster it just looks so awkward see what uh i don't know another big problem with this venom is just that the mouth area i don't know i feel like 
the the now chin and jaw need to like protrude a little more it just looks like there's a big just gash on the lower half of his face and it just looks weird all right the grand finale we've made it here ladies and germs <laughs> was toby just pogging right there Stop us if you can, Spooter Man. That is a really good camera to get a zoom that detailed. I do like how white the logo and webs look in the game. You can barely notice them in in the movie. The the logo and and the messed up web lines kind of get uh, lost. I love how <laughs> Venom's boss fight uh, resorts to like all you gotta do is to beat him up. To be honest, I feel like I can beat up Venom in real life if all I have to do is. Welcome to Sky Stick Flight. This late, Bruce? Really? Now, yeah. So this is kind of cool that, like, you know, the game lets you play as the Green Goblin, the new Goblin, sorry, uh, briefly. Cool. Thank you, Bruce. There's more. Yeah, so it's kind of cool that the game, you know, lets you play as the new Goblin for a little bit. They could have just made Harry coming in a cutscene, and then that's it. I, I think um, in the PS3 version, you can um, continue to play as the new Goblin after you be in the game. And in the head, there we go. Oh yeah, he's wet enough. So when I first, uh, or, or a while back when I streamed this game, I overthought this fight. And I thought that you had to, like, you know, read Sandman's attack animations. And dodge in, you know, very particular directions to, to dodge any incoming attacks. But all you really have to do is go all the way up with your glider. And just spam pumpkin bombs. And that's all there is to this fight. I mean... Stupid me, right? Thinking that this boss fight actually had some design to it. <laughs> to engage the player and, you know, have him... Uh, read the attack animations, but no. All you gotta do is... Go up here. And do this. Alright, left, square. Right, square. Oh, nice. Those are cool moves. Up, circle. Whoa, Harry is ballsy. He's doing some Kratos shit right here. Now come out his butthole. Come get some, boy. Oh, no. Oh, what a clothesline. Holy shit. Now I'm mad. I'm ending this. So so is that where Harry died? Just a clothesline? Wait, was he in the background? I feel like did I just see Harry like in the corner of the scene? Hold on. Come get some more. Oh shit, he he smacked me into the pipes. That is so fucking cool. That's like some movie shit right there. Oof. That's kind of violent. You should just burn burn the body, Spidey, just to be safe, you know? Honor the people I love. It's to never stop being a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Spider-Man 3 the movie didn't have a um, ending web swinging sequence, so the game made up for it. <laughs> but wait, there's more. So I actually I like saving this little uh extra uh, lizard mission for uh, after the main story 
as a little prologue or no epilogue <laughs> as a little epilogue just because I, I think it's kind of cool that it kind of you know gives the illusion that like oh the adventure continues like spidey's job is not done right like he'll always go on to have more adventures even after credits have rolled um so that's you know i don't know oh god <laughs> that's so creepy probably not the best way to uh wake up a patient in critical uh mental instability <laughs> oh shit oh this is like this is oddly a lot like the uh the tasm lab that a uh, lizard has that's kind of cool is it is it always like the same layout I, I swear it's like the same layout oh there's a collectible up there You're doing a lot of yapping, Doc. Just give me the thing. Is that a dick you drew on that paper? You know, I think... I think the tech for this mission right here is to not do any fancy combos. Just stick to the main square button. Otherwise, you'll lock yourself into a lengthy animation. And um, that'll kind of give the lizards the opportunity to to do damage to the dispenser while you're locked into uh, set animation. Also, want to keep an eye on that reflex. Make sure you use it as much as you can to stay ahead of the curve. Hit that super move as soon as you get it, or rather, when you have a lot of lizards in the area, so you can take out as many as you can. I don't know why this playthrough <laughs> turned into a walkthrough all of a sudden, <laughs> but just in case you play Spider-Man 3, the movie game, on PS3 and want a pretty good strategy at what can be a frustrating point, Take some of these tips and tricks, and you'll be a gamer just like me. Let's not do that again. Look at Spidey all casual. He's so cool. I don't know he was chill like that. It's okay, Doc. See you around, Doc. Hey. <laughs> Why was he running like that? <laughs> All right, and that is officially the end of Spider-Man 3. You know, minus all the racist bomb tours and all that other shit I didn't do. So, is Spider-Man 3 for PS3, Xbox 360, and PC really that bad? No, it's not. I'd go as far as saying that this game is pretty good. I know it's been the punching bag for the internet for over 10 years now, but I think that hate is unwarranted. Yes, the game has some outright goofy moments that deserve to be laughed at, but that's more from a graphical, voice performance, and writing standpoint. Mechanically, this game is solid. Combat, while not doing anything remarkable, feels tight, and Spidey can do some badass combos that are animated really well. Web swinging is indeed a downgrade from Spider-Man 2, but it's still serviceable and offers different tricks to play around with, Best of all, I just like how many different things this game throws at the player. There's always something different right around the corner. From some dumb little minigame, menial tasks like taking pictures for the bugle, a QTE, or just some different kind of environment for Spidey to complete tasks in. There's never a dull moment in Spider-Man 3. This game is good, and it's leagues better than the PS2 version. You guys are crazy. But, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment, and consider joining my YouTube members. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Special thanks to Samira Naji and Carlos Fontes for supporting at the top tier. You guys are certified superheroes.